Mom and Dad get to just get rid of them. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I need. Hello, I'm with Dr. Bernadette. Please tell them uh, what you do and um, mainly about the, the media house, your channel, things like this. Okay. So my name is Dr. Bernadette Sanku Kamara. I currently own a channel on um, Star Times, channel 200. It's a Pan-African television station, but now it's available worldwide. So you can have it on uh, Roku TV app, Amazon Stick app, Apple TV app. You can go to mybsktv.com and watch it. Um, if you have a phone, you can get it on iOS or Android. Wherever you go, you can uh, watch it. Um, so the, the, the app also does not only have a lot of uh, Pan-African movies, it has live TV. And the live TV caters to all of African music, different cultures, uh, different genres. Um, so we play a lot of uh, uh, music that demonstrates different facets of Africa and we have different movies at different times we have different series as well if you don't want to go to the live tv we have different shows we have podcasts we have television series so we have everything or you don't want to do all of that you just want to watch video on demand we have movies that you can choose from and just relax and watch okay so amazing <laughs> this week i'm going to open my very first media house mm -hmm. um, the investment is a million rand mm -hmm. a million rand is not a lot for a media house but I want to do it right so okay. this is a message to my audience mm -hmm. that uh, the very first thing that you need to learn to do in a business which above all like stands above all is learn how to think about it yes tomorrow I'm going to shoot a wedding mm -hmm. for free mm -hmm. the reason why I'm shooting for free is because I wanted an opportunity to talk to this woman. <laughs> I'm so privileged. I, thank you so much. I appreciate it. <laughs> I just want the knowledge mm -hmm. because I know that there's things that I cannot see ahead of me. Mm -hmm. um, so I want to ask you a series of questions. Sure. Um, legally, mm -hmm. when I'm opening a media house mm -hmm. or something like this from your experience, mm -hmm. um, what, do you, what is your suggestion um, on what I should do? What kind of licensing? What have you run into which was unexpected, which gave you problems? So, first of all, as a business, you have to think bigger than you. And you have to be extremely careful. Extremely careful. Why I say careful? Um, when you're doing a business, you have to be careful who you say, this is my partner. The words that you use have to now be very careful because you have to be deliberate. So, you can have a friend and maybe help you shoot something and you say, this is my partner. Well, you just created a business partner. Even though it's verbal, it's not written, it is now a business partner. So now, let's say that person never helped you again. That person never did anything with you again. Down the road, your media house is doing great. This person can now sue you for a percentage of your business and say, you said I was your business partner. This person was there as a witness. I am your business partner, I want a portion of it. So you have to be careful with that. Now, you have to register it based on the laws where you live. So I don't know how you register business here, where you have to make sure you register it. But this is what you wanna do. When I register my business, I make sure I say, I, I am going to not just create media, but I'm gonna distribute it. So why you say that is because you create media, if you do movies, you do TV series, you're creating media. Distributing it, TV series that you show, you broadcast, or you sell even to somebody else. You're distributing it. So when you're thinking about doing business, what you want to do is think about the things you're doing now, things you want to do, and things you want to do five, ten years from now. You put them down. Why you do that? You might not be able to do all of them now, but the time you're ready to do it, you don't have to start all over again to start a new business. It's already encompasses. Now, the other reason why you do that, let's say you started doing it, and now out of nowhere somebody comes in and says, hey, me too, I am doing something like this. 
Do you think maybe we can collaborate or work together? Well, now you never added that on your business. You understand? So now you have to start all over again. Mm. Because you need to add that on your business for it to be legal, right? Yes. So, but if you already say, I am a media house that includes all type of media, including broadcasting, creating media, and distributing media. You want to create, you want to use those words deliberately. And so when you have that, when it comes to television, you don't have to start anything anymore. You want to do podcasts, you don't have to start that anymore. If you want to do anything else, you don't have to start anymore because you already added that in your business. You understand? So you put that in and you pick a few people who are going to be administrative people. People that uh, are you going to ask. Now, as a business, you don't put somebody in because they are your friends or because you think they know something or because you wish you can teach them something and they can do it. That's not a good reason to add them on your business. The good reason is you see they're ambitious like you and they can see the, your vision through your eyes. Why I'm saying this is that you work with people before you know it. After all, I'm the one that is filming for him. He doesn't know how to film anyway. Now this person just break away from you and what is the person doing taking your own clients? So you have a problem. So make sure the relationship is clear from the beginning. This is what we're doing. This is your position. It is in written form. You are my videographer. Any media, any content you create while you're working with me belongs to this company. You understand? Yes. So if you don't have that in writing, for example, somebody goes somewhere else and do a wedding. For example, they say, well, I did it outside of work hours. What are you going to do about it? There's nothing you can do because you have nothing written. But if you write something and say, whether or not you are do a working during business hours, anything you do using my company name belongs to this company. Now, you can make an arrangement and say, okay, if you're the one that found this client and everything, the company can get a percentage or you have a large, larger percentage. You can work it out. But make sure right from the beginning, like they said, everything starts from the beginning. Make sure right from the beginning, the relationship is clear. Don't say, well, she, she knows this is what she's supposed to do. He knows this is what he's supposed to do. You can't do that. Because one thing that you can count on when it comes to people is survival. Everybody is for themselves. First and foremost, when it comes down to it. You understand? So when it comes to protecting me versus you, I'll protect me first. So especially when it comes to money. So you may wish to have a wonderful relationship with somebody. You may wish to have a great relationship with somebody. That's not good enough. You have to be, to understand how to separate business and personal. You can have a personal relationship with somebody, wish all the best, want all the best. That is not to say it's good enough for business. The two are not the same. You understand? So you have to be very careful and not all information that you're planning to do, you should divulge. Like a baby, create it. Make sure you, you get everything right. It's in writing. Because if you have an idea, for example, you're working on, you have not written it down, nobody knows it, but you spoke to a few people. Now that person take that idea and take it here and go register it and do something else. There's nothing you can do about it. But if you write it somewhere and put it down, even if it's part of your file, now and there's a date for it. so everything you do have a folder write it down put it there have a folder put the date make sure you put it there it may not mean anything to you at that time but let's say you have a friend hey maybe you're having privileged conversation you know i was thinking about such and such a year ago i want to do it blah 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 now this person want to go and take it and do something else now you guys are going to uh, uh, see who has the idea first 
how are you going to prove it? You take down the folder that you kept long time ago and show it. This is how long ago I have it. And this person, we have a conversation. I have a witness when I had it. And now this person took it and they want to take it as theirs. You just want your case. So you want to make sure everything you do is deliberate. You understand? It's a business. And first and foremost, you have to take it seriously. First and foremost, you have to take it seriously. First and foremost, you have to say it seriously. I said it three times. Why? Because everybody is going to do what you're doing, not what you tell them. You understand? They see you, you film your friend. Oh, don't worry, you're my friend. It's, it's, don't worry, don't tell me. You're my friend. And then they do the same thing. You cannot now get mad. You can say, you have to pay. It's your friend. Hey, you're supposed to pay $5. I am giving you $5, but you have to pay. You can give your friend $5, but they have to pay. But if you make it free, all the time, the workers you have, they see you do it, they are going to do it, and you cannot get upset. And you cannot do anything about it. Because you're showing them, anytime you're around people, you're teaching them how to treat you. So whatever you allow them to do, and we are a creature of habits. So whatever we do and get away with, we will do it again and again and again. So you have to take your business seriously. And the people you work with have to be dedicated. If somebody that you're working with is supposed to show up at work at 9 a.m. and they're always coming at 10, 11, severally, that might not be a good fit. Are you going to show up at 9 a.m., Francis? So that's what, because it is a business. It is a business. And what it is, is sacrifice. It's not going to make money now, but you have to be willing to make the sacrifice. Right? Like now, if I tell you how much money I have spent, it's a lot of money. Hundreds of thousands of dollars that I have spent. And I have not started earning money yet. Why am I doing it? Because I know the potential that it has. Now it's reaching all across the world. What am I doing? First of all, to understand that apart from white people, us, we can do it. We can create our own content. We can tell our own stories our way. And we can distribute it around the world. That's number one. Number two, to also know that now that I have everything. So if I, I am working with a business person in Zimbabwe, as I am here now. Zimbabwe person want to um, advertise something for here and in the diaspora. When they advertise with my channel, everybody in the U.S. can watch it and see exactly what they advertise. You understand? So your information go far and wide. So these are the reasons why you have all those things uh, uh, done first. Everything starts from the beginning. Make sure you register it. Make sure everything you do, you write it down. Put a date on it. Put a signature on it. Everybody you talk to, whatever agreement you have, put it on paper, put off your side, put it down. Keep those files. Everything you do, write it down. Put the date. Sign it. Don't use words freely. If you say this person is my partner, the person is your partner. So don't say it unless you mean it. And make sure you start it the right way. Get the laws, register it, do it the right way, take it seriously, and then you're good. Amazing. All right. Okay, so um, my next question, uh, personnel, the people that you work with. Mm -hmm. Please tell me about personnel. How do you hire someone? How do you look at someone and think of, think, okay, this person is good enough to work with me? I know you said they must see your vision through your eyes. What else have you learned? What, how have you gotten in trouble? How, how, how else have you, got, how have you gotten in trouble? I had trouble from personnel. I want to understand. 
I'm hiring people. Okay, so first and foremost, again, it's business. I don't care how much I like you. If you're not going to do what I tell you to do, you can work for me. I fire my own sister from my job. From the same mother. Same father. I fired her. So, because if I have a business, it's running and it's making money, then everybody profit from it. If I hire somebody who is going to bring my business down, then we all suffer. So, I you hire somebody, you're not going to look at what somebody said they're going to do. You're going to look at what the person is doing. It's not what they say they're going to do. It's not even the qualification. For what people misunderstand is having a formal education to be intelligent. The two are not the same. You can have a degree and still be stupid. Okay? So. We'll see you tomorrow. Yes, sir. Thank yeah. you so much. I just have to leave. It's freezing here. I know, it is cold. <laughs> yes. Yes, sir. Hopefully, you can edit that. It's okay. Yeah. So, um, <coughs> somebody who is intelligent is somebody who is able to work outside of the box. Who is going to see something and say, Do you know what? I know you used to do things like this. How about we tweak it a little bit and just to see how it works. Somebody, what you did today was it shows intelligence. Now, they pay you that money. It may work, you use it, get it for a day. But what you are getting now, the information you're getting now, you may have to hire a lawyer, which would have cost you more. That lawyer may know may have known just a little bit about what you needed, may not know all of it because they have not worked in that field. They have not experienced it. They have not seen how it works. So they cannot tell you the details as it is. So for you to make that sacrifice and say, you know what, let me let this go because I know I want to get something that is bigger. You want to hire somebody who thinks like that. Somebody who thinks outside the box. Somebody who is saying, you know what, today, let me just, we, we normally use this thing and add these flowers. How about we take away the flowers and add a little bit of tree and, and another, another form of off kind of stuff. Whatever it is to make things differently, to enhance. So somebody who is adding something to it. That's the person you want to hire. That's the person you want to give. Somebody who is going to add. Not somebody who is going to do exactly what you want. Not somebody who is going to... Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. No. Somebody is going to challenge you. And say, ah, I know that's what you want to do, but I don't think that's the right way to do it. I think we should do it the other way around. You know, let's do it differently. Are you okay? Yeah, no, it's the, the breeze. The breeze? Yeah, the, the, it's cold, man. Mm -hmm. You know, so if somebody, if somebody, you want to you wanna work with somebody who is going to say, like for example, one of my companies, I have one of my employees. Yesterday, I spoke to her. I wanted to do something different. She said, no. I know if you do it, it's you're within your right, but I don't think it's the best decision. And I said, okay. It's my company. I could have done it, but she was right. You know, so you need somebody who push back sometimes. You understand? Push back and say, no, I don't think this is the way you should do it. Let's do it this way. Now, there's a difference between having somebody who push back sometimes and somebody who is just rude. So you have to know the difference. But somebody who is doing it because they're doing it for the betterment of the work, not the person who is doing it because they are against you. You get the difference? Like they will say, you know what? I think today let's go and shoot something facing this way because I think it will give us better light. Instead of the way you suggested it. That is adding to it. But somebody who is telling you, you shoot the same thing all the time. I keep telling you, you know, 
then the person is challenging you and then you have a problem so you have to look at relationship you build relationship relationship building is very very important you want to work with somebody that you have the same synergy somebody who can see your vision and the other thing is that a good leader raise other leaders you're not a good leader if you have not created another leader You understand? So a good leader creates another leader. A good leader is somebody who will say, for example, he is swimming and he say, what else can he do? What else can I teach him to enhance his skills? What else can I bring to him to enhance his skills? Nah? So we go, okay, okay. They come now. They come now. Okay, so those are the kind of people you want to hire. Okay. But make sure you open your mind and learn every day. You don't know everything. And you can never know everything. Yes. I have three doctorate degrees, but I'm still learning every day. Okay? okay. So, we continue to learn. I'm but start there. from there. And I have your number. You have my number. You can text me. We continue to work. Sounds good. So it's a pleasure. Thank you.